Hey guys, I'm Blair and welcome to my 365 art challenge. I have done so many pieces so far this year, a lot of traditional, a lot of digital, and I'm so excited for where I'm going. On February 28th, I sketched out this really, really awful thing of Olivia Rodrigo playing the guitar because I found a video of her playing the guitar and I'm like, oh my gosh, she actually plays a guitar while she's doing it. So I, of course, I love guitars and I love making guitar pins, so I knew I had to draw it. On Leap Day, February 29th, I thought I was going to do something cool and fun for Leap Day. No, I did this horrible little sketch that I just, as you can tell, I'm still in a digital art funk. On March the 1st, I decided, no, I'm not going to do something digital. I'm going to try traditional to see if it's going to work out for me. So I did this beach with my alcohol-based Ohuhu markers. On March the 2nd, I was writing a lot and I drew this lovely, lovely little sketch of Megan the Stallion. And on the same day, I also sketched out these little beach things because I was desperately craving the summer to just come on. On March the 3rd, I drew the front and back cover of a new variant for the Tortured Poets Department. This one was the Black Dog, and I actually think I like the sketches out of all the ones I've done about for of um, the Tortured Poets Department covers so this part. That's such a mouthful. On March the 4th, I did not feel like doing anything, but I still did something, and it was this. And on March the 5th, it was kind of a busy day. I did three different paintings, all with like this very pastel palette. First, I started off with a speech to kind of warm up and of course, like my other ones before, it was a 3x3 three three coaster, wood, and I kind of know how to draw water now, so I, I'm not sure if I used reference or not, but I did stick to kind of muscle memory for a lot of it. And then I drew this piece, or painted this piece, and it was just, I just fell so, so much in love with it. The background, the colors, the, how everything is, I just, I could not stop staring at it, and I in pain that I probably cannot replicate this perfectly again. I tried to and it just did not turn out as well as this and I'm just forever in awe. This is just one of those pieces I'm just going to stare at for the rest of my life. And then I also did this one. Um, even though it has a lot more detail, I like it for other reasons. I think the bubbles are really cute, but it just does not hold my attention that the way the other one has. I really think they are quite cute together. This is just a testament to how much I love pastels and how proficient I am with using them now, I think. Well, pastel acrylic colors. <laughs> to recap, I was still in a weird digital art funk. Traditional art kind of worked better for me this week. I don't know what's been going on because even doing this voiceover now, like weeks later, it's just. I'm still not doing that well traditional. I mean, digitally, and it, it, it's, it's really bothering me, but I've been having a lot of fun traditionally, so maybe that'll keep up for a while and I can sell some paintings. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!